The Andromeda Galaxy is the nearest spiral galaxy to our Milky Way. It is not noticeable in our night sky unless you look for it. However, under dark skies, you can see it without any telescope, but only as a fuzzy patch of light. But one day, far in the future, Andromeda will be bright in our sky, growing larger and larger, as it gets closer and closer to us. And even though, the two galaxies are still 2.5 million light-years apart, one day, our Milky Way galaxy will crash into the neighboring Andromeda galaxy. This event was not supposed to happen, for another 4.5 billion years. But now, new research reveals, that the process may have already begun. This galactic event is a scary situation. When galaxies collide, new stars are born, and gravitational forces are redefined, changing the entire architecture of galaxies. The obvious question here is that, will Earth and the solar system survive, this massive space catastrophe? Let's find out. Before we continue further, make sure to subscribe to our channel. That way, you won't miss any of our weekly videos. The Andromeda Galaxy is currently racing towards our Milky Way galaxy at a speed of about 70 miles per second. With this in mind, these galaxies will merge in about 5 billion years from now. But new research has revealed that the galactic merger between the Milky Way galaxy and the Andromeda galaxy may have already started. The news about the Andromeda galaxy came from Project Amiga, which uses the Hubble telescope to look at the deep space surroundings of the Andromeda galaxy. Amiga stands for Absorption Map of Ionized Gas in Andromeda. NASA called it the most comprehensive study of a halo surrounding a galaxy. This research states that the process of galactic collision is already underway. According to the research, the halo of both the Milky Way and the Andromeda galaxy have started touching each other. The halo of a galaxy is essentially a large layer of gases, space dust, and rogue stars that surrounds a galaxy. These halos determine the true extent of a galaxy. However, detecting them is not easy. This is because these halos are so faint, telescopes often glance over them without noticing. Only by long exposures at a certain wavelength, they can be seen. This project from the Hubble Space Telescope did exactly that and found out the true extent of Andromeda. What it also told us shockingly, is that the collision predicted in 4.5 billion years, by NASA, is happening right now. This might affect Earth and our entire solar system. When the merger begins, it will be a trillion stars of Andromeda galaxy, merging with 300 billion stars of the Milky Way. Stars from both the galaxies will fall into new orbits, around the newly merged galactic center. According to a 2012 research, it is likely that our solar system will be flung to a new region of the galaxy. But it also assured that the Earth and the solar system were not in danger of being destroyed. The eventual merger is still at least 2.5 billion years away. So our home planet and the solar system is safe until then. But after that, it is bad news for Earth. Depending on the position of the solar system, Earth can be exposed to more radiation from nearby stars, resulting in inhospitable temperatures. Earth can also be trapped in a gravitational trap, and can have its orbit shift. And even the slightest of change, will drastically affect the climate, and living conditions on the planet. In 2012, NASA released the concept images, of what someone on Earth might see, when the Andromeda galaxy merges with Milky Way. The depictions are based on Hubble telescope's measurements of the motion of the Andromeda galaxy, with computer modeling of the collision between the two galaxies. A series of studies published in 2012, showed that rather than glancing off each other, as merging galaxies sometimes do, both these galaxies will in fact merge to form a single big elliptical galaxy. Our new home galaxy will be called Milchromeda. We will gain a trillion neighboring stars, and anyone left alive, will see an incredible night sky full of new stars. Will humanity ever see, this newly merged galaxy? The sun has been increasing its brightness by about 10%, every billion years. Increased brightness means an increase in the amount of heat our planet receives. As the planet heats up, 
the water on the surface of our planet will begin to evaporate. An increase of the sun's luminosity by over 10% doesn't sound like a whole lot, but this small change in our star's brightness will be pretty catastrophic for our planet. This change is sufficient enough to change the location of the habitable zone around our star. With a 10% increase of brightness from our star, the Earth will no longer be within the habitable zone of the Sun. This will mark the beginning of the evaporation of our oceans. As solar radiation reaching the Earth increases, Earth's surface temperature will also increase. We may undergo a runaway greenhouse effect, similar to what is happening on Venus. So there's a good chance that life on Earth won't be around when the merger finally happens. But by that time, maybe humanity will become a space-faring civilization. Perhaps we would have left Earth, and even our solar system. So we may still get the view of Andromeda crashing into the Milky Way, just from a slightly different perspective.